Excuse me, sir. How did you get out? What are you doing? Hi, welcome back to Holy Ground Homestead. I'm Jenna. And I'm Josh. And today we're going to get some chicks. So a couple days ago, we drove past Tractor Supply and of course it's chick season. So we're like, we need to go get some chicks. It's a beautiful day out. It's 60 degrees where we are. Um, so we're like, today is, yeah, in Mar early March. That's amazing. So we're like, it is the perfect time to go and get some chicks. We're gonna go look at some chicks, but it's impossible not to walk out with some. Especially if you're married to me. Yes. <laughs> I told him I'll limit myself to 10. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so I already bought 83 chickens off Murray McMurray. So do we need more chickens? Yes. Or yeah, they're not coming, I think, until like about August 19th ish, if I got the date correct. And I'm like, it's March. So that's like a lot of months to not have chicks. The the meat birds are coming in I think June, right? June? Yeah, I think middle of June. Middle of June. So but that's the meat layer. The meat I keep saying meat layers. It's the the meat birds. So that's different than egg layers. And the egg layers are my favorite part of homesteading. So I'm like, I need more. You can never have enough. A family tractor supply adventure. He's already asking for lollipops. Can we get a dog? It looks like a so oh, well, we don't have any of them, I don't think. Golden oh. We ended up only going with five just because they didn't really have much of a selection and they said that they're going to get more chicks tomorrow. So I'll just come tomorrow. We got you a treat. What do you think, Willow? We what are you doing? Willow, two treats. What do you think of your bone, Willow? <laughs> Farm kitties. I kind of let a couple more out. Yes, you guys are escape artists. So since we just went to Tractor Supply and got our chicks, I am just going to get some supplies. So I grabbed this brick. I don't know what to do with my other one. I'm looking for it, but I'm going to go ahead and get their brooder ready. I've never kept chicks inside my house before. But I want to this time, at least for like the first week, because I want to handle them more. Because um, last time I had a chick that was kind of scared of me and she still doesn't let me really hold her. And I want to change that. So, oh, I missed it. He just fluffed up. I love when he does that. I plan on letting the rest of the chickens out um, probably in about an hour. Just to let them free range a little bit, but that deters them if I do it more towards dusk from going over to our neighbor's house because they have chickens and they want to go say hi to their friends. One thing that I absolutely love is that my chickens will follow me around if they're free ranging and they will literally like wherever I go on the property, they will follow me. There's literally chickens surrounding me right now. Hey girl. Especially that one. She really likes me. Okay. So I'm just in my kitchen right now and I put their heat plate in so far with some of this really fine straw. They're moving around right now. Hi. So I'm gonna need some water, some feed. I'm gonna make sure to put some chick grit on it and just kind of get them settled in here. They live outdoors. Doesn't matter. They're so cute. Say hello to the camera. So as I've shown on previous videos, as I'm putting them into their brooder, was that too fast? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to check all of their butts to see if they have pasty butt. And I already looked and thanks tractor supply. I need to clean this one. So you're going back in the box. Yes. 
Next, I just need to have them peck the water. They're kind of hungry in water. This yeah, we're giving them all water. I just put in the second chick. What second chick? This one. Count the chicks. One, two. Yes, and there's and more over here. Where is she? Here's the chicken. Why, why are they not This all... one looks good too. Look, Lincoln. We have to check each of them for their butt. See, this one doesn't have anything on it. That's perfect. That was so cute. I guess they look. look, this one looks like it's wearing eyeliner. Hold on, did you? I know. I'm going to check those butts. I'm going to check their Sure. Butts. Nope, you right. don't have anything on this butt. So this one's a girl. Yes, she does, actually. So this is the one I think was from earlier. Let's check this one. Oh. Tractor supply, what are you doing? Okay, so we have two. This one's actually pretty bad. I don't even know if they check, honestly. All right, so two out of five need cleaned. We got Rhode Island Reds and Golden Comets. We got three of the Golden Comets and two of the um, Rhode Island Reds. And with the Rhode Island Reds, we got that as a straight run because if we get a rooster, I'm not gonna be upset about it. So we're debating on do we want two roosters? Do we want to possibly do something with our other rooster? He is not the most manly rooster out there. Very friendly, but not very manly. So, and the girls don't really respect him. So we shall see. So I went ahead and just filled up one of my chicken buckets and grabbed some paper towels. So I'm just putting it on there and letting it sit so it can kind of soften. This one has quite a bit, unfortunately, but we'll get you better, girl. I want to hold my chickens out of bucket. Oh my gosh, that chicken is literally in the food. What chicken? That chicken right there. The, the yellow one? The yellow one, yeah. She really likes that food. I, I, want, I want to pick her up. You are doing so well. You're just being so calm. I appreciate that. So the poop is not covering her vent, which is excellent, which means she's still able to go and it's not going to hurt her, but we definitely want to get that off. But we don't want to get her too wet where the other chickens start pecking her because she has skin exposed. I'm going to give her a short break because I don't want to hurt her. And I imagine that that is the most pleasant feeling. Okay, now it's your turn, girl. All right, girl. Oh, are you yelling at me? This one is not bad at all. And her vent is not covered either, which is great. Uh -oh. So we're just gonna let this sit. There's food on the table. Yeah. You know how sometimes you make messes? So does mommy. I'm picking this bag up. Oh, that's so helpful, thank you. Now, I don't have the water super hot. I just have it, you know, like a little warmer than lukewarm. Because I don't want to burn them. They're only a couple of days old. I put so it's not lukewarm. So does that mean God might not spit them out of his mouth? Hmm. I'm going to have to ponder that one. <laughs> like, how warm do you have to be? I mean, I think we need to be on fire. I, I put a lot of salt and pepper on it. Salt and pepper? Mm -hmm. Is the chick salt and pepper? Yep. I, these these fire are for salt and pepper. This, this is the salt and this is the pepper. Oh, really? Did you know, buddy, that the chick grit is what helps the chickens be able to eat their food? All by themselves? Yeah, all by themselves. And poop all by themselves? Yeah. Because the big chickens, they'll eat rocks that's out in their run so that their belly is able to digest the food. Just like how your stomach helps you digest, that's what they need to help digest their food. All right, so we went ahead and just finished up all five chicks. I'm going to check them again every day for the next few days to make sure they don't get pasty butt. But they're all eating and drinking and they seem very, very happy. This yellow chicken is consistently in the top of this feeder. So when we name her, I definitely want to name her something like 
I don't know, munchers or just something about food because that's hilarious. Y'all are still out here. Walk around. You think I have something for you? Here. I don't know what that was. There you go. Hello. Don't judge my yard. I have children. <laughs> Ladies, you are about to get so excited. Release the chickens. So I'm just going to prop this door with a rock. And then they will put themselves to bed. All right, so it's about 5.30. I just let my chickens out so that the rest of them can go put themselves away for the night. Um, I have not collected eggs today and I was actually out of town yesterday. So I'm going to check for the eggs um, and see how many I got. These chickens keep hiding their eggs from me. They literally are burying them in this coop. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this egg. It is microscopic. I will show you what a normal egg looks like. Okay, so these two eggs are the same color. This is a normal one. This is a micro egg. Thanks ladies. I'm really interested to see what's inside of this. Actually, we might just feed it to the chickens. So we're just gonna... Oh, there's like a yolk in it. There you go, girl. That would have made a filling breakfast. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite things to watch is chickens dust bathing and digging around. Are you checking out what I'm doing? Chickens are so intelligent. I use these old ice cream buckets and they have a choice of free ranging right now. And they're choosing, excuse me. It's hard because I don't want to step on them, but they know. They'll sit there and follow me around with this thing. You ladies are smart. Coop number two, one egg. Just kidding, there's a second nest. So before I left um, about a day and a half ago, I set up in this coop right here, nesting pads that we had been given by a company called Roosties. Um, that was like maybe last summer and my chickens never liked them. So I tried it again this year and I even, um, we had just made a video where we found eggs that were in my son's tent, like his toy tent. And I was like, I'm not probably gonna eat these cause I don't know like if they had frozen and then thawed out or if they were even good. So I was like, oh, I'll just put them in here. Well, this is what they did. They made a mess. This was so neat and organized and now it's a mess. I mean, they even put one of the nesting pads over there and I don't even see all the eggs. I put three eggs on each of them and they just made a mess. So they know that they're supposed to be going in here. They know that there was eggs in here and I'm trying to get them to lay in this thing. Josh specifically made this for the chickens to lay in here and they refuse. Even if I give them pointers, they can't act like they didn't know about it. And the last coop, we got a bunch there too. Something that I absolutely love about homesteading and about specifically chickens, I love how if I need to go away for just one day, I can make sure that their food is full and their water is fine because of the system that we've developed with having the 55 gallon drum for their water and the big tote for their food, I can go one day without checking them and they're gonna be fine. Now, whenever it's summertime, that's a different story because right now we only have our egg layers and of course like our cats and our dog. Um, so we obviously took our dog with us. We don't go anywhere without her. Um, but with the chickens, they don't need a whole lot of stuff, you know, food, water, make sure that their coop and their run is completely closed off and predator proofed. And we've had really good success with that. And of course, if I'm going away for anything more than one day, then I ask, you know, 
someone in my family or a friend to come up and check on them. But one day they're gonna be fine. But once we start getting into the season, so we plan on getting pigs this year and I already have an order, like I said in the earlier this video, of meat birds and more egg layers. Um, so when they come, we're not gonna be able to go on vacation. We're not gonna really be able to do anything unless we get someone to come over and check on them every single day. Now, last summer we did go away for a little bit, but we had my brother-in-law come over and he checked the animals twice a day. Um, since he did work, he checked them in the morning and fed them and then also in the evening as well. But we really try not to do anything when we have our animals. Like now that we got our chicks today, and I'm going to be getting more in a couple days, I have zero plans on doing anything else because they need constant care. But you know, in kind of like I would call like the off season when I'm not gardening, when I don't have all the animals that require a whole lot of care, if I wanna go away for one day, then it's not a big deal to me. One thing I really wish I could do right now that I did used to do was free range my chickens around my yard. We had too many problems of them going over to our neighbor's yard um, because on this side we have neighbors that have chickens and then on the other side we have neighbors that have dogs that they let run around in their yard. Um, our yard is fenced in because we have an acre and a half here which um, is honestly the perfect size for starting out. It's been incredible. Um, and we did let our, when we only had five chickens, we let them free range. But then we started getting into the problem where they started venturing, you know, for the first like six months, maybe even a year of having chickens, they didn't really venture out. But then I guess they got bored <laughs> and decided that they wanted to start going to our neighbor's houses. And as much as I'm all for my chickens having friends, um, you know, I want to be a good neighbor and I don't want to cause any strife between them, you know, because your neighbors are, can be, and should be your community. And I don't want to tick my neighbors off. If I'm just being really blunt, I don't want to tick them off. Um, and so as much as I would like to free range them, like they are right now because it's almost sun, like sunset. And if, I don't know, I don't, honestly don't know when it, the sunset is right now. I don't really pay attention to that. Like right now they are free ranging, but that's because they're gonna be going to bed soon and they're gonna put themselves to bed. So it's not like they're gonna be out all day where they have a chance to go over to the neighbor's yard and harass the dogs or go in, in the other neighbor's yard and harass their chickens. So um, that's not a big deal. And I might actually incorporate that into some of my schedule but I might start incorporating that in where I let them out for like the last hour of daylight so that they can kind of, you know, something I don't want to deal with is ticks. And that is, especially having small children, like my daughter's going to be walking soon and we plan on spending the entire summer outside. Like I'm going to be surprised if we really have any time, unless it's raining indoors. But even then I let my kids, you know, I let my son go play in mud puddles and stuff. Cause I, I don't know, I don't care about that. Um, I love mud. I encourage mud. <laughs> Last year, he actually made like mud paint and painted my um, siding with mud. And I was like, this is why we have a hose. <laughs> but I would really like on our next property because as much as I absolutely love this home and I love my property, I would like to get more land. I mean, copy and paste my house. I love my house. Um, but if I could get more land, and I actually really love the fact that we have woods and things like that, but I want to be able to raise cows um, and have pasture. So as much as I absolutely love my property, I'm so thankful and I'm going to be here as, you know, as long as we can. Um, but one thing I just really want is to be able to free range my chickens all day, every day. And I know that comes with its own host of things that then you have to worry about. Like I did have to worry about hawks last year when I was allowing my chickens to free range. Um, but you know, I haven't lost a chicken yet, even though I thought I did until mystery chicken came back. But free ranging them is just so incredible and it's so good for them. And you spend so much less money on feed and I'm all about saving money. But like I said, I wanna be respectful of my neighbors. And um, so I keep them locked up um, in their coop and their runs, but they have a gigantic, don't mind my straw bin but they have a huge run. Like they are not, they're not hurting for space in any capacity. And we actually plan on adding on, especially because I'm getting so many more chickens. We're just gonna extend it. And 
just keep going, you know, and on the next property that we have, um, that's going to be a requirement is I don't want neighbors that are right next to me so that, you know, my chickens can free range. That is just so important to me. Um, and it just gives them so much enrichment and entertainment. It makes their eggs just so delicious because then they're getting all the bugs and the, the plants and the grass because uh, they they mowed down that grass and that was in their run. That's, but it is actually a good idea and I really do plan on implementing this year about letting them free range for like the last hour because then they don't have time to go over to the neighbor's yard because they're gonna be too busy trying to get all the bugs and everything that's around our yard. But thank you so much for watching and coming along with us as we went to Tractor Supply. Um, I'm sure there's lots of people that are flooding Tractor Supply right now to get chicks. And I just hope that you have a fantastic time and really enjoy it. Can you say bye? Bye.